this is Josiah. Today I'll be talking about the materials and properties of basalt rebar. Rebar is an alternative material to steel and fiberglass reinforcements in concrete. The rebar is made of volcanic rock that can be found deep below the surface, below the sedimentary or metamorphic rock that is exposed on the surface. That being said, basalt is quarried from the ground is taken to the factory and melted down to be poured into a mold where the rebar is made. In this picture, it's before they melt it and they take it from the ground. It's just like raw basalt. The properties, uh, breaking it down into flexible strength and size. When purchasing rebar, it comes in coils of 100 meters to 328 feet. You can get the basalt rebar in sizes from 6 millimeters, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter. Basalt is very strong compared to the common steel, which is about 2.5 times stronger in tensile strength than Series 60 steel rebar for the size for the same size diameter. Also, the rebar is about one third the weight of regular steel, which makes it cheaper to ship to the job site and cheaper overall than steel rebar. Rebar does not lose strength when it is in a house fire and also is UV resistant. Basalt rebar has a high tensile rating, but when looked at for stretch, it has a low stretch ability and it'll break easily. Uh, this picture here is just re the basalt rebar. As you can tell, it's just a little more coarse than regular steel rebar, so it doesn't rust. And that's why basalt rebar is a good choice over steel rebar or fiberglass rebar when choosing it for your design. Hi, I'm Reed. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how basalt rebar works and some of its common uses. Basalt rebar is pretty much steel rebar on steroids. We use it much in the same way that we use steel rebar to increase the tensile strength of concrete. Basalt rebar has some pretty interesting traits. For example, it's naturally resistant to alkali, rust, and acids. It's also resistant to corrosion and aggressive chemical compounds. Also, basalt rebar does not conduct electricity or induce fields when exposed to RF energy, which makes it great for MRI or data buildings. You will often see basalt rebar being used in marine environments or chemical plants where corrosion and moisture is a constant problem where steel rebar would fail. Another common place to find basalt rebar is swimming pools. This is a great use for basalt rebar because as you can imagine, there's a lot of water in swimming pools and that water can penetrate the concrete and if you're using steel rebar that can rust, but the basalt rebar is naturally resistant to rust. In my research, I learned that basalt rebar is stronger than regular steel rebar. That being said, I also learned that you would need less pieces of rebar in your project using basalt over steel. And if that was the case, then that would mean that there's less labor being used on a project, which could even out some of the costs. There are many pros and cons of using basalt rebar compared to steel, glass or fiberglass, or carbon rebar. The first advantage of basalt rebar is that it is much stronger than steel, but it also is much lighter than steel as well. Basalt rebar is about one quarter to one fifth of the weight of steel rebar, but it is over two times stronger than steel for the same size or diameter of bar. The basalt filaments also have higher tensile strength and modulus of elasticity than both fiberglass and steel. Since basalt rebar comes in coils instead of sticks, but is much lighter than steel, a 4,000 foot coil only weighs about 40 pounds and doesn't require a heavy crane to move. The coils can easily be moved by hand. The last major pro of basalt rebar is that it is non-corrosive and doesn't rust, but it is also naturally resistant to alkaline acid damage. Because of its resistant properties, basalt rebar is often used in marine construction or in construction near the coast. The only cons of basalt rebar is that it is more expensive than steel and fiberglass rods and has, is very hard to bend. In fact, it requires melting the basalt rock at 1400 degrees Celsius to permanently bend the bar because basalt has a strong memory like a spring. It requires a lot of force to be bent, but once it is released, it returns to its original form. 
Because of this, corner pieces and stirrups are often pre-made and placed on the job site rather than you know, trying to uh, mend or melt the rebar on site. Um, some other cool information about basalt rebar is that basalt based materials are environmentally friendly and not hazardous. Basalt rebar is also transparent to radio frequency signals unlike steel and the lack of spalling when using basalt rebar allows for concrete using basalt rebar to be poured as thick or as thin as desired because it doesn't need to be placed a minimum of 3 inches from the surface of the concrete because it doesn't rust or corrode.